Bonjour. Well, we are already on episode 50. <laughs> and I never thought I would make 50 episodes. But uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your continuous support, your loyalty, and your constant watching. Merci beaucoup. Now, for episode 50, I decided to give you a behind the scenes look at how I make a vlog and um, tomorrow I will be visiting the Chateau de Pompadour and uh, I thought before I do the filming I need to do some research so usually on day one I will plan my visit to whatever place I'm going to film and uh, today will then be research on the Chateau de Pompadour. So let's go. And the first thing I'll do is I'll see how to get there. And you can see there on Google Maps I will depart from my village, Chalie, take the D901 through Bussier Galon, Ladignac de Long, right down to Saint Irier La Perche. And then from there, I will go to Cossac Bonival and uh, Still on the D901. So there I've got to make a right turn, go down through Lübersack. Yes. And then eventually I will get to the Chateau de Pompadour. Research that I did yesterday on the chateau. Um, I even went on to sites like TripAdvisor to have a look at the reviews and I must tell you most of them were, were terrible um, but judging by all the spelling mistakes I wouldn't trust them that much. So um, I'll use all the background history uh, etc to, to focus on certain parts of the chateau. So, off to Chateau de Pompadour for the filming.
right so yesterday all the filming was done and um, as you can see I put all the video clips from yesterday into one folder so on day three today I can start editing and it's much easier if I have all the video clips um, in one folder so I can access them quickly I will probably start with an outside scene an overall scene of the Chateau de Pompadour um, and then followed by an introduction etc and then a logical walkthrough through the, the castle itself uh, but also the grounds because that's something I did not know it has huge grounds and it used to be a stud farm and it still is today I also took a lot of photographs because they had lots of information around the castle um, and that kind of information was not available on the internet so I have lots of extra info. Okay, step number one is I will open my editing program which is uh, I use Filmora. I've had it for many years. Um, I'll open up that. I'll start a full feature mode new project. I will start importing my media files and we will go to the folder I have just created and there we are episode 51 and let's import that file there and I click on that file and it gets added to my timeline now there's a, a larger screen where I can actually see what is happening and if I press play it will start playing now this I formed in front of the chateau okay I'm gonna move back slightly and I think I will take it from there so what I can do is I will cut that first part because that's unnecessary info and as you can hear the sound is not really what I want I want to play music So let me pause and then what I do here is I click on it and you can see there is an option of mute because what I will do is I will play music for the introduction and as you know I use a lot of music so I make use of epidemic sound which I pay monthly um, and then I have 35,000 odd tracks to choose from and they're all royalty free because I pay per month um, and then you can go up there and music and you can choose the mood that you would like now it's a very short clip so um, let's have a look there are many options there and because it's a castle I think I'm gonna go with epic Okay, so duration, how long do we want it? Uh, the shortest is 29 seconds, and I think that's more or less what, what I want. You can take it up to 40, and it gives you all the options to choose from. Okay, that's quite dramatic. 
that's an option. Yes, I like that. Now it usually takes a long time to choose the right music, but um, for the time being I'm going to download this option and then I add it to my folder. There we are. Once I've decided on my music I can then go to my file. There is my folder and there's the music I downloaded. So I add it to my timeline. There we are. Move it right to the beginning. Now let's see. Perfect. slightly and then have a look. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, so I decided at the beginning to give more clarity. I will have to do some narration, uh, which I will record now. But in the meantime, uh, you'll hear that the background is far too loud. So I need to soften that before I do the voiceover. So what I do is I click on the clip. And then I choose Audio Detach, so that makes the audio separate from the visual. And when I do that, I click on it, and then I can actually bring down the volume. Uh, I'm going to bring it down to about 20. Yes, and then, okay, right, I'm ready to do the voiceover quickly, um, and I'm just glad that I've got all that experience with dubbing many years ago, because I've got to sync the visual with the voiceover, so let's try.
sometimes first I'm lucky, other times 10 takes or more. Now across the road from the chateau you can see the famous Pompadour race course. To defend the castle during the wars of religion between 1560 and 1580, ten towers were constructed around the castle. And down there you can see the old moat which used to be filled with water. Now the entrance to the chateau was protected by a drawbridge and that's the only part of the chateau which survived the French Revolution. There you can see more of the towers. Down there another one. First time lucky. I think that's it. I'm going to call it a day. Uh, so this is the end of day three and I am not even halfway yet with the editing. So I'll continue tomorrow but now it's time for supper. It's almost seven o'clock. So we'll continue tomorrow. Day four and I'm still editing the second half of the vlog. I'm almost done. All the video clips are in the correct sequence. I've done the transitions and now all I need to do is add some voiceovers and the correct music to go with it and then uh, I'll be done. So you can see it, it, it takes a long time and um, I don't rush it because I want to give you a quality product. Um, and you might also wonder why I choose certain topics for my vlogs. It's usually something that's happening at that stage and moment in life. Or it could be, in the case of this chateau, I decided to explore the life of Marquise de Pompadour because she was so famous after she had been given this castle by King Louis the Fifteenth, uh, being his favorite mistress. And uh, I thought it would be fun to explore. And I'm glad I did because I discovered so many other things about this castle. Like I never knew it was a stud farm and uh, the race course was just opposite the, the castle. And I think that is why he gave her this castle is um, because she did not live there uh, permanently. She only came down from Versailles to watch the horse races and that was opposite the castle. So what joy! You sit in your, your chateau and you watch the horse races. Right, let's get on with it. Right, and that is the end of day four. Um, I've completed the whole vlog, done most of the editing. Um, so I will leave it until tomorrow on day five. I will check things like spelling in the, the texts. I will also have a look at smooth transitions and whether there's a, a natural flow from beginning to end uh, and whether it makes sense and uh, then I will export it from the editing program onto my computer and that should take about two hours and uh, after that I will definitely leave it till day six on which I will then have a final check and then load it onto YouTube. And because it's quite a long vlog, about 33 minutes, 
um, it will take a long time. So it might take up to probably, I don't know, four or five hours to upload onto YouTube. And I'll show you those steps when we get there. Okay, but that's it for today. Day five. I've gone through the vlog twice now and I picked up a few things that I would like to change. Um, add some extra information, for example, the Marquise de Pompadour's real name, uh, things like that. So I'm going to do that quickly. changes I would like to make and then I can export it from the editing program onto my computer and then it's ready for the uploading onto YouTube which will probably only be tomorrow day six right and while it is exporting onto my computer I will do the thumbnail which goes with the video so on YouTube you will see um, the thumbnail uh, and when you click on the thumbnail obviously you see the video so let me design the the thumbnail quickly Day six has arrived. I've exported the video from my editing program onto the computer and I did a final check and I'm happy. So I will now upload it onto YouTube.
right, that is the whole process of how I make a blog. Um, I hope that gave you more insight in how much time it takes and uh, what it's all about. So uh, next week you can watch the finished product. Okay, a bientôt.